In this video, we are going to discuss the Fusion 360 API document structure, as well as the lines of code that we're going to need to start off our scripts, but we'll get to that in just a second. So first, let's talk about the document structure. Let's open up the Fusion object model here, and this is the document structure for Fusion 360 API. So, things are sectioned off, and for example, if I want to access a certain object or certain collection inside the Fusion 360 API, I can navigate this object model to access that. So, for example, let's come down here and let's say I want to access extrude features. In order to access extrude features, I can start from the very beginning, get the application, come down through documents, through design, I need to get a component, then I need to access features, and then I can come down and access extrude features. That is the only way that I can get to this collection. And so let's let's talk a little bit about what each of these mean. First of all, this application is is the highest level. It's basically all of Fusion 360. Now once we grab Fusion 360, we come down into documents. Now the documents collection it can contain several documents and we need to access the correct document and once we once we access a document inside that document there are several different portions there's going to be like a modeling portion which is this design portion there also can be other portions like cam data but we're typically going to be in the modeling portion or in this design now once we're in the modeling portion there's also components the main component there you're going to see is called the root component but there can be other components as well once we grab the component that we want, we can then access different collections. So we can access the features collection, we could access the mesh bodies collection, we've seen how that we could access sketches collection as well. And, and if you view the videos, the upcoming videos will show ex sample scripts of how to access sketches and, and create sketches and extrudes. So that's how we would scale the object model. So let me actually show you in regular Fusion 360 what that all means. So like I said, the application is all of Fusion 360. And then inside of Fusion 360, we have several documents. That's that's basically these up here. If we wanted to create a new document, it's, it's creating a new design there. And then, like I said, there's different parts of that document. There's uh, modeling, or like we saw, there's CAM that you can access through the API as well but for now we're just going to be in modeling and then within that model there are several different components this here is our root component and so if I had that highlighted the active component right now is the root component but we can also like add new components and now this is my active component and we have another component here as well so depending on which document we access and which component we access we're going to be creating features or sketches inside different parts of the Fusion 360. So we need to be able to navigate through that object model to access correct parts. So let's go ahead and look at that in our code. But before we look at that, let's just talk about the setup of our script. Here, the first line is just we're just importing the libraries that we need to access. These three are going to be the most common you can also, if you need to do math, we could also include the math library. This function here is the run function, and it is the, it's going to be the access point, the entry point for Fusion. So as soon as you run a code, it's, Fusion is going to look for this, and it's going to run this. Now, inside of this, you can see that our first line of code here is getting the application. Now let's say I want to access the sketches collection. So let's actually do this side by side with that object model that we already saw. This is just a, a snippet of the object model. So if I want to grab sketches, we see what we have to scale to get to that. So first, we get the application. And then within the application, we grab this active product. The active product is actually basically the modeling portion of whatever document is already open. So when I when we're grabbing the active document, we're, we're grabbing both of these. And then we get the root component. That needs to be capitalized. We grab the root component, and that is grabbing uh, the 
top level component right here. And then within that component, we're grabbing sketches. So this is an example of how we are navigating through the object model to access a certain collection. It would be the same for extrudes. We would start from the top, get the application, get the active product, get the component, and then we would get features collection and then the extrude features. Now, since we don't want to have to type this out every single time, every single different feature or, or every single different part of the sketch we access, we don't want to have to type out this whole line of code. So what we can do is we can just create references for different parts of the object model. So let's go ahead and delete that. And this is actually typically what your document is going to start. It's going to look just like this. So we get the application, we get the active product, we get the root component, and then that way once we've created a reference to the root component, every time I can, if I wanted to do sketches, all I need to do is root component dot sketches, root comp dot sketches. Or if I want to do extrudes, I can just do root comp dot features dot extrude features. Then if I ever wanted to access anything inside sketches, like sketch curves, now all I need to do is sketches dot sketch curves. So we're creating references so that we don't have to type everything out every single time. Uh, th this is also something that you'll usually have at the top of your script. This this section here is, is how your script will typically start. And this UI portion is basically just grabbing the UI portion of the object model. And that's going to let us access other things as well and to create message boxes. So that's really useful. Now, on top of that, there's a few more things that I want to point out. Like I said, we don't. sometimes we want to create a new document. We don't want to work in the document that's already open. And in order to do that, there's one line of code that you need to add. This line of code here, let's make this wider so you can see the whole thing. This line of code, basically all it's doing is it's saying, I don't want to work in the document that's already open. I want to create a brand new document. So that line of code will create a new document. Also, similarly, if we're in the component and we don't want to work in the root component, but we want to create a new component, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new new occurrence and that's basically an, a new component so these two lines of code are going to do that so let me show you that so like I said if I don't want to work in this document I can create a new design and then also I'm automatically inside the root component but if I don't want to be in the root component I can create a new component and then I can work within that so that's all of these these lines of code are doing here but it's it's the same. We already got the application, we got the active product, and then we're getting the root component. All we're doing is we're adding a new document, we're adding a new component, and then we can reference those down here. So I could create a sketch inside of my instead of my root component, I could do new component, and that would now reference this, and it would create a sketch inside of the new component instead of a root component. So that's a basic overview of the document structure as well as the beginning lines of code that we will see in most of our scripts. If you want to learn more, like I said, you can come to the help page here, go to the user's manual and basic concepts of Fusion API, and that's going to talk about in depth the object model.